Hey, what is up guys, Bisectron coming at you once again from Clash of Clans Manual. Today I'm announcing a sneak peek uh, that Superstar was leaked with us. This is the second sneak peek video I'm doing for the September 2014 update that's coming very soon. And this was a pretty substantial feature that Superstar chose to share with us today. So on the forum, Supercell Games revealed that the level 7 barbarians and archers are coming to a barracks near you. So level 7 barbs and archers is huge. Um, also, or additionally, Valkyrie training time will be significantly reduced. So, I mean, the Valks are not a very common troop, so I don't think that's a huge feature. But it's always nice to reduce training time. I don't like waiting for troops. And maybe now Valks... I think currently they're at, what, 15 minutes? So maybe they'll go down to about 8 minutes, which would be like a balloon, which would be a little bit better. But anyway, the main thing are the Barbarians and Archers, which have become level 7, um, or will be level 7 once the new update comes out. So right now, Barbarians and Archers are level 6 at the maximum level. So whenever an update comes out, we have to think what kind of implications will it have on the game. So right now, Barbarians and Archers are mainly just used to support troops as far as trophy pushing goes, but they're pretty common in farming. But the only question is when you upgrade them, if they become more expensive, will it even be worth it? I mean, most it's pretty much is for every troop to upgrade it, even if it is more expensive. So I think it will, but will it that make that much of an impact on farming? And I think the answer is yes to some extent, because having um, 200 troops, assuming you if you bring 200 archers, Having each one a little bit more powerful is going to make a big difference for you. It's definitely going to help farming. And also, if you want to do an inexpensive way of trophy pushing, the barge strategy was still a pretty solid strategy back when it was um, back when it was level uh, 6 barbarians and archers. But now if you have level 7 barbs and archers, that's going to be a very strong strategy just to try to snipe 50% when you're trophy pushing in these high leagues. So that's definitely an implication this update will have. Um, if you guys haven't already, check out my last sneak peek. Um, they shared with us some new things about walls and also replays. So you're not going to want to miss. these. Those two are actually arguably better than the level 7 Barbarian Archer, in my opinion. Because um, they're a pretty uh, nice little update to the game. So this looks like it's going to be a great update. We are definitely have been waiting for one for quite a while with Supercell. But it's nice to know they're sticking with the game and continuing to bring refreshing content to us. That's going to wrap it up for this video. As far as the time frame, I'm guessing within the next couple weeks this update will come out and sneak peeks will continue to be leaked and I'll be doing more videos um, on the sneak peeks. Maybe the next video will have more about the barbarians and archers going to level 7. Uh, I don't know about that but we'll see because I don't have all the information right now as far as the barbarians and archers. But so far we have the improvement to walls, being able to do it with elixir, um, the new replay feature um, with being able to see the troops that were used even when you're not attacking um, live and check out my last video for more on that. And now we have archers and barbarians going to level 7 and the Valkyrie training time being reduced. So it looks like they're in, uh, Supercell is interested in making the game easier and kind of balancing it out more which is nice to know and it shows they're committed to it long term. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next sneak peek video. Or maybe my crystal, my final Town Hall 5 push to crystal, depending on what I get to. I've been very busy lately, but I'll do my best to squeeze out some more videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a short one. Talking to you about the sneak peek, so I'll see you guys later. Bye, Zach the Tron out.